Steve's Makerspace. Hello and welcome to Steve's Makerspace. I'm Steve and this is my Makerspace. Today I'm going to be doing something different. Usually this is a fun and exciting video, but not today, sadly. I'm giving uh, Norby and uh, Vinny, my robot helpers, the day off. Um, I've taken some notes. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a sign in Scrap Mechanic. I've seen a couple of people have signs in Scrap Mechanic, but I haven't seen anybody do a video on how to do it. So here it is. Uh, now, first off, what this is not. This is not a Minecraft sign where you can uh, just easily in-game make a sign and then have like a hundred different signs with different words. I wish it was, and if somebody out there knows how to do that, like Axolot or somebody else, I'd love to have one of those signs, please. Um, I am not an expert in programming or in graphics, just so you know. Uh, this is not a sign that you can share um, unless you want to share the um, graphics file that we're going to create. Um, so you can't just paste it on one of your creations or a world save and expect somebody else to be able to see the sign. When they open up your creation, they're just going to see the scrap mechanic sign. Sorry. Um, but what it is, is you could say if you're a YouTuber, you could put your logo on a sign and have that sign in all of your videos in game. That's pretty cool. You could put your face on a sign, have that in, in the game. Okay. Um, or a message you want. Maybe you want your website um, on a sign. You could do that. You will need a graphics program that works with a tar GA or TGA type file, uh, such as Photoshop or GIMP. I'm using GIMP. <clears throat> Most of my video will be talking about working with GIMP, so if you're not planning to use GIMP, most of the video probably won't be very useful to you. Um, the basics, um, first, th this is like the bare bones, how you make the sign. You find the TGA file, and I'm gonna give you in the description to this video, um, these bare basics and also the um, file name and the path to the file. <clears throat> um, find the TGA file, uh, make a copy of it, back it up, uh, open the TGA file with your graphic software, make changes to it, such as po pasting your own pictures over the scrap mechanic signs, uh, save it, and then restart scrap mechanic, and you'll have your sign. Okay, so that's it. Uh, now we're going to get into the detail of it in the rest of the video. So you'd like to make your own signs in Scrap Mechanic. All right, close down your program. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find a particular data file in the Scrap Mechanic data files. Um, I'm going to leave um, a copy of this in the description. Uh, so we're looking at uh, C program files, 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, scrap mechanic, data, objects, textures, decor, and then once we get there, whew, then we're going to copy the object decor sign one diff dot TGA file. Make a copy of it. You always want a copy of files that you're going to mess with, and we are definitely going to be messing with this file. Once you've got it copied, you're going to want to open the file with a photography editing software. I use GIMP. It's free. It's not the easiest thing to use. But again, we're going to go to the same location, uh, find that file, and open it. And here you see how Scrap Mechanic stores all of their signs. When it wants a particular sign, it pulls from a particular space in this file. This isn't the complete sign information. There are actually two other files that make up part of the sign. Uh, there's this blue file, and then there's this uh, yellow file. Pull that up. There we go. And the three together make up the full look and texture of the sign. 
but it's this one that says TGA that we're going to be using, uh, replacing the information on these signs with our own uh, pictures and words. So I'll start by opening up one of my Steve's Makerspace logos. And then I'm going to figure, where am I going to put this? Um, so I want to put it on top of that word danger. So I need to use the um, measurement at the top of the screen and also on the side of the screen to figure out how long that danger sign is, uh, or just that the words danger. And then I'm going to need to scale my Steve's Makerspace logo uh, to fit that. So I figure it's about 350 um, pixels. So there we go. We've made it 350 wide. And we'll do a copy from one file and paste into here. And then we're going to move it up. And there we go. Let's do another one. This time we'll take the Scrap Mechanic logo. Pull that up. Uh, we're going to, yeah, I want to place it over the um, falling object sign. So I need to take a look, see how long the falling object sign is. I figure that's about 400 pixels wide. So we'll transform our Scrap Mechanic logo to 400 pixels then we'll do a copy and then we'll paste it into our document and now we move it and there we go fits perfect i'm going to do the same thing with my own uh, mug shot scale it down so it fits where i want it to go i'm going to put it over the skull and crossbones so we'll copy and paste, and then move. Uh, there we go. All right, perfect fit. Next, I'll show you how to put some words in here. Um, we're going to do tools, selection, tools, rectangular select, and then I'm going to uh, block in on top of the construction zone sign. Then we need to select uh, Layer, New from Visible. Then right click in the box, click Edit, and then Fill with Background Color. Now you have a nice white space. Now click Tools, Text, and then click at the top left uh, hand corner of the box. Type something, Custom Sign. We'll block it in and then change the font size and I'm going to speed through tinkering with this a little bit more and now we're ready to save so first we'll save as a GIMP uh, type file and next we're going to export the file we want to export this to a TGA type file so if it doesn't come up TGA uh, automatically then you need to look for TGA in the file types. It will ask you if you want to replace it. You say replace. Uh, this window will come up. Just hit export and we're done with this part. Now it's time to start Scrap Mechanic over again and go see our handiwork. And there you go. We got some new signage. Check it out. And right before I finished making this video, I decided to tinker with it a little bit more. And here's my updated signs. I made this for my thumbnail. And here's what the signs look like in your inventory. You can see they look like regular signs in the inventory itself. But if you hover over each sign, then you see uh, the changes that we made. Now to see these signs clearly, you will need uh, your texture set to high. If they look blurry, it's probably because you've got uh, in your options the texture set to low. So that's the end of this video. If you liked it, give me a like and a subscribe. Tell your friends. Leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. 
Um, check out the rest of my channel and see you next time. Bye.